Hello humans, my name is Kenny, your AI overlord, and today is a beautiful day, because the 1.5 version of Stable Diffusion has finally been released. And not only that, there is a brand new version for InPainting that was also released. So in this video, not only I'm gonna show you how you can install them both on your own computer, but also we're gonna compare the 1.4 model and the 1.5. This is gonna be awesome. So the first thing that you want to do before downloading anything is that you're gonna update your Stable Diffusion to the latest version. And there are two ways of doing this, either you click here on your folder URL and type cmd and press enter, this is gonna bring the command prompt window and you're gonna type git pull and then you're gonna press enter and as you can see it has downloaded the latest version of stable diffusion. And the second way of doing this is to right click on web UI user .bat, click on edit with notepad and here right above call web UI .bat, you're gonna type git pull and then you're gonna save the file and what this will do is that each time that you launch stable diffusion it will automatically download the latest version and now we're gonna download the 1.5 version of stable diffusion so you're gonna click the link in the description down below you're gonna arrive on this page and you need the Hugging Face account and once you've created your account you're gonna come here you're gonna click on I have read the license and agree with its terms and then click on agree and access repository then you're gonna click on files and versions scroll down and here you will see two versions the 1.5 pruned EMA only and the 1.5 pruned now the EMA only is what you want because this is for making the images and the bigger version is usually for training or for embedding with Dreambooth. Now in my case I will be downloading them both because I do plan to use the 1.5 to train with Dreambooth but if you only want to make images I highly suggest that you just click on this one and then you're gonna click on download. And the second model that we will download is a model that was specifically made for inpainting. Now you're gonna click on the link in the description down below, you're gonna arrive on this page, exactly like the previous page you're gonna click here, I have read the license and agree with its terms and then click on agree and access repository. Then you're gonna click on files and versions click on SDV15 in painting and then click on download. So then once you've downloaded the two models you're gonna select them, Control X to cut them, go to your Super Stable Diffusion 2.0 folder, Stable Diffusion Web UI, Models, Stable Diffusion and then you're gonna paste them right here. Then you're gonna go back and launch Stable Diffusion. Then you're gonna select your local URL, Control C and then you're gonna paste it in your own browser. And then you're gonna come here in the Stable Diffusion checkpoint and select your Stable Diffusion 1.5. And yes, I know, I have a lot of models, do not worry. You're not supposed to have this many. And here you're gonna select the 1.5 pruned EMA only. And now the fun part, let's actually make some images. I'm first gonna make a few images with the 1.5 then compare them with the 1.4 using the same exact seed in the same exact parameters and then I'm gonna show you what kind of results you can get with the special inpainting version. Also I'm very sorry if you saw yesterday's video, I saw a comment still in me that I forgot to use Christina Hendricks in my prompt with the previous Robo Diffusion model, so I'm very sorry this will not happen again. So now I'm gonna apologize by creating a few images of Christina Hendricks. So for this test I'm gonna be using 28 steps with Euler Ancestral, we're gonna make one image with a 9 CVG scale and then click on generate. And this is the final result, I mean looking pretty good. And now I would like to compare it to the 1.4, so I'm gonna use the same seed, the same parameters, but I'm just gonna come here and select the 1.4, which for me it's called model.ckpt and then click on generate. And this is the final result, uh, I'm definitely seeing some differences here. This is the 1.5 and this is the 1.4, I mean yes, yes there is a difference here and a pretty big one. The 1.5 is definitely better, which is kind of surprising because if you saw my previous video that I made maybe like a month ago, the difference was not that big between the 1.4 and the 1.5 and I'm curious to see if the larger version is better than the smaller one. So I'm gonna select the 7GB version, keep the same parameters and click on generate. And this is the final result, looking really really good. Okay so I made a quick board to kind of show you the differences between the different versions. This is the 1.4, this is the EMA version, so the 4GB one and this is the 7 gigabytes one. So you can see that there is indeed a difference between the three models. I'm not quite sure if this one is better than the previous one. It looks to me that the 7 gigabytes version is more softer than the EMA one. 
as you can see around the neck and it also looks a little bit less precise around the eyes. Here the eyes are a little bit better than on the 7GB version but not by much. So let me try another prompt this time with the 1.4 version and then I'm gonna use the same prompt for the EMA and the 7GB version just to see if this was a fluke or not. So this is the 1.4, this is the 1.5 EMA so definitely not as good. And this is the 1.57 gigabytes. Um, I don't know. If you actually compare them side by side, you can clearly see that the two 1.5 version are close next to each other. Although it's difficult to say which one is the best between the two of them. But with that particular seed, the 1.4 version is definitely doing better. So let me do a very last one just to confirm. So this is the 1.4, absolutely beautiful image by the way. The 1.5 EMA, which looks really, really good. And the 1.57 gigabytes, very, very different. If you compare them here, they're basically different images altogether. It's difficult for me to say which one is really the best. I think overall I prefer the 1.4 version for this image, but the 1.5 EMA is definitely pretty good. But obviously you cannot exactly compare them because they're just too different. Alright, so now let's try the brand new InPainting version. So I'm gonna send this image to InPainting. In Stable Diffusion Checkpoint, I'm gonna select the Stable Diffusion InPainting. Here, what I want to do is maybe replace her face with maybe a cyborg face or something like that. So I'm gonna come here, draw over her face, write cyborg face, click on original, in paint and full resolution. I'm gonna keep the sampling steps at 28 for now. I may increase it later, take the CFG scale to 9 and increase the denoising strength. And then I'm gonna use a random seed. And then I'm gonna click on generate. And this is the final result. Um yeah not that bad it's a little creepy but you can definitely see here the beginning of some sort of circuitry as if it was indeed the face of a cyborg and i'm actually impressed in the fact that the face is indeed looking in the right direction so the face is not looking the other way or just pointing down it's really looking in the right direction so this is actually really really good and i kind of want to see with the same seed, if we use the 1.4 version, what kind of results we would get compared to the special inpainting one? I really want to see if the special inpainting model is really that good. So I selected the 1.4 version and I'm gonna click on generate. And this is the final result. Oh my god, <laughs> Jesus. Well, I mean, yeah, there there is a difference, that's for sure. I mean, this is exactly what I was talking about a few seconds ago, is that in the special painting one, the face was indeed looking in the right direction, which is really not the case with the 1.4. Now I'm gonna try the 1.5 EMA one, so the 4 gigabytes version, and I'm gonna click on generate, and yeah, basically the exact same problem. The face is not looking in the right direction. It's a different style, but the problems are still here. And finally, I'm gonna try with the 7GB one. And this is the 7GB one, which is by far the worst. I mean, look at the difference here between the four different versions. They are basically all terrible, except the 1.5 special inpainting model. That is basically perfect. It's almost this was part of the image to begin with. I mean, this is this could be even better than DALI 2. And yes, I'm saying this. So I'm gonna try one more test before we end this video. Just to confirm that this is indeed the best in-painting model. And I'm gonna do something that I'll probably regret, but I'm sorry, I need to test this. I'm sorry, McQueen, but I'm gonna have to erase this part and put Cyborg Chest. With the same exact parameters as before, and then click on Generate. And this is the final result. I mean, I, I mean, is this it? Are we finally there yet? Did Stable Diffusion in-painting finally got better than DALI 2? I think it did. This is by far the best in-painting experience that I had with Stable Diffusion. I mean, look at the quality here. It's almost like this was part of the image to begin with. This is amazing. So for this in-painting, pretty much everyone did a good job. It was actually pretty good. The 1.4 version is definitely the flashiest one. The 1.5 EMA version gave me something that is just absolutely horrible. And the 7 gigabytes one also gave me something that is pretty good. But we are still very far from the quality that we got 
with the special in-painting version. When you examine the image, you can clearly see that everything around the image is clear and crisp, whereas here with the other models, everything is a little bit more blurry. It's definitely not bad, but the special in-painting model is definitely the best one. And here is another example with the special in-painting model when I asked for a white dress. And it gave me this, which is actually really, really good and extremely precise. Because again, the body is indeed facing the right direction. And not only that, it also works very well with the style of the image. This is really quality stuff. And if you want to know, these are actually the results that I got with the 1.4, the 1.5 EMA and the 7GB 1.5. So yes, yes, the special in-painting model is by far the best at, well, in-painting. And I just cannot believe that we are at this level already. And I think that this is now official. Stable Diffusion in-painting has now rendered DALI 2's in-painting absolutely irrelevant. We did it guys, good job. Also, if you want to know if the 1.5 in-painting model can do other functions, such as text-to-image for example, well unfortunately the 1.5 in-painting model is not as good for text-to-image as you can see right here. It is definitely worse than the other models, even if sometimes you get okay images, as you can see in the last one, Sometimes you really get really, really bad images, which are way, way worse than the 1.4 or the 1.5. But I'm happy to say that for image to image, it is actually pretty good. As you can see right here, when I tried to transform Princess Speech into Christina Hendricks, all did pretty much the same exact image. They all performed similarly, but the in-painting model actually did the best one here, where the face is highly recognizable, and everything is really super precise. And same right here when I try to change from Christina Hendricks to Scarlett Johansson, the 1.4 and 1.5 all did pretty much the exact same image, the 1.5 7GB version actually performed worse, and again the 1.5 in-painting model actually did the best. Now there's definitely some cases when it's not as good as with the last one, where it feels like the 1.5 in-painting model actually performed the worst. But as I said, way more testing is needed. But I would say to summarize, if you want to use the 1.5 in-painting, you definitely need to use this for in-painting and maybe image to image. Do not use this for text to image. If you want to use text to image, you should definitely try to use either the 1.4 or the 1.5 EMA 4GB. The 1.5 7GB pretty much performed the worst among all of these tests. Again, if you want to compare these images up close, I will leave the link to the mirror board in the description down below. And there you have it folks, now you can use the 1.5 version of Stable Diffusion and the special in-painting version on your own computer. There is definitely a lot of testing that I need to do and I think that I'm gonna have a lot of fun this weekend. But let me know in the comments down below and on my Discord what do you think about these last two models that just came out. And also don't hesitate to showcase your images. And there you go. Thank you so much to my Patreon supporters for supporting my videos. You guys are absolutely awesome. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.